Good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I'm glad you're here, and I'm grateful that you're here. You know, so much in life depends on our attitude. The way we choose to see things and respond to others really makes all the difference. If we do the best we can and then choose to be happy about our circumstances, whatever they may be, that's what will bring us peace and contentment. I love the quote by Thomas S. Monson where he says, we can't direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails. For maximum happiness, peace, and contentment, may we choose a positive attitude. You know, many times I've talked about going big, also about rig and fig, beginning gratitude, responding gratitude, finishing gratitude, that attitude of gratitude. Well, how do you maintain that? Have you been like me where you sit sometimes at night trying to think of three things you're grateful for the day and you really can't think of too many other than the ones that you've always said before? So it becomes a little bit rote, less meaningful. Well, in our group of ambassadors, what we call the Empowered Wealth Ambassadors, which is a separate group that meets to talk about the empowered wealth mindset. And uh, one of the ambassadors brought up the idea of using letters and, and we worked together and we came up with the word potent, P-O-T-E-N-T. -E and potent stands for, when you really start to think about what the things that you're grateful for, people, opportunity, things, experiences, nature, and my favorite thoughts. Now, I know I've talked about this before, but I wanted to review it because it seems to me in my conversations and working with you that um, we tend to kind of drift into this fog of, yes, I'm grateful, and it becomes rote. So the whole idea is let's elevate this and talk about each of these just a little bit. So people, you know, when you start to think about the people in your life, don't just think about them, don't just say them, envision them. So when I think about, I'm grateful for my wife, Lori, I see her and I see her happy. I see her doing the things that she wants to do. I see, it just, I see this bubbly person. When I think about my children, I see them. I see their spouses. I see their children, my grandchildren, and I see them happy and healthy and prosperous and doing well. When I think about you, and when I think about meetings that I may have with you or things coming up, I see you and I see you happy and prosperous. And when you go into that vision, it's different than just thinking about them, it's feeling about them, and it raises the level. Opportunities, you know, opportunities are around us, but, we, but when we go to that mind of thinking about opportunities, we think, well, what opportunity do I have? This is a big opportunity. But the thing that we tend to forget about opportunities is I could be sitting on the freeway grumbling and complaining about being stuck in the traffic jam, but in a heartbeat, if I would just stop and think how many millions of people would trade places with me now, right now, to sit in this car, in this country, in this traffic jam, millions. We have opportunities around us everywhere. What about our things? Well, when you, again, when you think about things, you start thinking about your possessions. But really, does it go beyond that? I've traveled to third world countries. I know what it's like to have one pair of shoes. You know, when you wear size 15s like I do, I buy about every pair of shoes I can find that are a little bit stylish because I'm limited in what I can wear. But there's people out there that wear the same shoes to church, to school, to work. There's some people that don't even have one pair of shoes. What about the clothes that are on our back, a roof over our head? We have so many things that we take for granted. What about then our, the E for experiences? We move through life at such a fast pace, we don't capture we have more experiences in the one year of our lives than our ancestors probably had in their whole life. Uh, capture those experiences, see them, visualize them. Even the small ones, they're important that we capture them and we share them, we name them, we brand them. What about nature? Nature, you know, since I've started doing this, going through P-O-T-E-N-T, -E I have to tell you, the other day I was with some clients in Texas and I'm driving along and I see the moon coming up out of the prairie. I'm used to seeing it coming over the mountains. And it was the harvest moon, and I had to stop the car and look at it. It was amazing. Just yesterday, Lori and I were on a hike up in the mountains, and we had snow covered with then the fall colors underneath. We had 18 inches of snow up in our mountains behind us. And so we were up at that level, and then we could see the beautiful colors as well. It was astounding. Just astounding. And then the last thing of all is my favorite, and that's our thoughts. 
Because that's the one gift that we have that nobody can take away from us. It's the one thing that only we can control. And once we stop controlling that, we give away our control. Our thoughts really are who we are and who we can become. So think about it again. P is for people. O is opportunities. T is things. E is experiences. N is nature. And the last T is thoughts. I hope this is helpful to you. Be potent. I think it'll help you appreciate life and appreciate the things in your life and visualize them. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.